Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to uh, take your uh, pinball uh, from uh, Windows XP to Windows 7. Okay, so on, on this uh, XP machine, just click Start, and um, if you go to uh, if you go to uh, All Programs, then Games, over here is Pinball. So you could press F4 for full screen. So I'm playing right now on uh, Windows X XP. Okay, so go to start. Uh, go to start, and then. Um, Go to my computer, click that, and then go to your uh, hard drive, your local disk, and uh, double click that, and then go to program files, double click that, and then uh, scroll down till you see Windows NT, and double click that folder, and here's a folder for pinball. This is all you need. So this is 2.44 megabytes. And so it's a very small uh, folder. So just put that like on a, uh, a USB drive. Uh, this one's really old. and uh, Or just on anything you want. You can even do file sharing from one computer to another with the uh, uh, Ethernet cable for your internet. Uh, and just transfer this uh, from one computer to another. Paste it here on, on the desktop. It's this folder right here. Um, but what you need to do is press uh, start, go to computer, and then uh, click your local drive. Open that. Double click that. And uh, uh, if you go to... Um, the same area program files and then it, if you go back it actually has program files x86 so uh, you can put it I put in both of them you don't have to you could just put it in the program files okay so if I open this and then I go down to uh, Windows NT I, I pasted it over here just how it was in in, in XP um, if I if I open it, all the files are there. If I if I uh, press the properties, it says 67 files and 2.26 uh, megabytes. So I'm not exactly sure which computer I took this from, but the megabytes are not exactly the same. But you need 67 files. Um, and then w what I did uh, is. Uh, to make it full screen, because if you don't do this, you're not gonna get, uh, uh, you're gonna get like a smaller window. If you want full screen, then um, open this thing and then right-click the pinball properties, and then go to uh, compatibility and click this and run this program in mode for Windows XP Service Pack Three. So I'm going to double click that and uh, so right now it opens in a small window. If you press F4 just like an XP, it's going to be a full screen and you can set all your controls just how in XP everything seems the same. So, uh, so basically, if you don't set compatibility mode, uh, it won't. It, it seems to run in a smaller window such as this. So it will be a little clearer, but uh, full screen is usually better. What you want. So. So that's all there is to it, guys. 
have a nice day. Thanks for watching.